Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of multiplication and division facts. This is standard 3.4F in the great state of Texas. We're using item number 5 of the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, and then unpause it. We will look at our answers together. So the problem is actually just this top part right here. The bottom part is actually directions on how to answer the question because there is no multiple choice selections. There's no A, B, C, and D to choose from. So we're going to have to create a bubble sheet over here on the side and we'll look at that once we have our answer. Kind of put that place over here. So Lynn has a total of 36 sodas in packs. There are six sodas in each pack. How many packs of sodas does Lynn have? Well, there are a few different ways that we can solve this problem. First, I want to start with a strip diagram just to see if we can get a visual on this problem because there's only two numbers, 36 and 6. We can add them, subtract them, multiply them, or divide them. And there's no key word in there to tell us which of those operations to choose. So sometimes a visual will help us. So one way would be to just kind of picture, here's my total number of packs, or my total number of sodas, 36. I've got six sodas in each pack. I don't know how many packs there are. That's the question, how many packs there are. If there, if there were a certain number of packs, I can draw little boxes and we can fill them in. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little box right here, and it's going to say six. So packs of six. And it's going to go like this. And this is how we would represent it with a strip diagram. That means I've got 36 total. And I need to figure out how many packs of six I can figure I can get from that until I reach the end of my 36. So that's one way to do it. Another way to do it would be if we wanted to, we could literally draw 36 little circles and then just divide them or circle them into into packs of six. But what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to do something called repeated subtraction. And repeated subtraction is something that we can do. It's kind of like repeated addition. We just don't use it very often. So I'm just going to keep subtracting six from 36. So 36 minus six is 30. All right. So I'm just going to put a little one right here. That's one pack. And then I'm going to take six again. I'm going to have to regroup here. So 10 minus 6 is 4. So I've got 24 left. I've already taken two packs of 6 out. And let's see, I'm kind of running out of room over there. So let me write my 24 over here. Take away 6. I have to regroup. Lots of regrouping, but that's fine. 18 minus 6 is 8. Or 24 minus 6 is 18. I already had the answer in my brain. Let's see, that's going to be 3. So I'm just going to kind of do it like this because I'm continuing to run out of room. 18 minus 6 is going to be 12. No regrouping necessary. I've got 4 so far, and it's starting to look a little bit closer to what I think I need. So look at that. I've got 5. Now, I've still got 6 left, so I'm not done. So what I need to do is I need to do 6 minus 6. I've got nothing left. So I think I have a total of 6 packs. So really... Repeated subtraction is another way to think of division. So when we did 36 divided by 6, we came up with 6 packs. We could think, well, does that make sense with the multiplication fact I know? Does 6 times 6 make 36? Yes, it does. So my answer is going to be 6. Now, how do we fill this in? Because our bubble sheet is going to have four columns. This first column is going to have simply a decimal point and then nothing underneath it. And the other three columns, they're not labeled. You just have to know right next to the decimal point to the left is the ones, that's the tens, and that's the hundreds. And if you put the six anywhere else besides this one column, you're gonna be wrong. If you put it up here in the tens, it's gonna be 60. If you put it up here in the hundreds, it's gonna be 600. You do not need to put zeros in the hundreds and tens, but you can if you want to. So you're just gonna put in six, and then just there's gonna be a little bubble down here that has the number six. You bubble it in, and that's all you need to do. Answer six.